Come on, goats. Hey everybody, welcome back to Owl Creek. I'm Cody and today I'm going to show you some trouble we've been having here lately with some of our goats. I use cattle panel to fence through wooded areas like this and it's really not working out for these horned Kikos. So stick around, take a look at this video and let me know in the comment section how to fix my problem. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I just took a look out my house window and what do I see besides good old miss daisy here with her head stuck through the fence yet again this is the second time today which means miss daisy is getting herself a stupid stick taped right on her head with some good old t-rex tape here now all i got to do is fish her head back back up and out of the fence and she will look just like her good friend xena who I cut her stupid stick off and it lasted about three days before I had to put a new one on. So now, her and good old Daisy will have some matching headgear. Still not as good as mine. Normally I would just open the gate and go through, but this panel that she stuck through is my gate. Hi Daisy. You don't even care that you're stuck, do you? You just get stuck now, you just lay down, you do it so much. There you go, pull back. Stay up here. Nope, nope, nope. All right, well, that's never easy to tape one of them on a goat's head by yourself. I think now she's hiding down below the trailer. Miss Daisy, are you mad at me? Are you mad at me, girl? Like I said... That's the second time in one day that she's been stuck. I can't let her get stuck like that. We do have some stray dogs that will randomly show up. They have their heads stuck through there. They could just start chewing on the goats. So, whew. man, I'm out of breath after doing that. So anyways, they're safer this way. They won't get stuck. And I know that has to hurt them whenever we have to wrestle them back through the fence. So I don't like doing it no more than they do. Come on, goats. Hey, we're missing one. We're missing one. Where's Bucky? Or Precious, I mean. Precious! Well, this isn't good. Okay, so as you see here, I just came out to give the goats some hay this morning. And Precious, my goat who absolutely hates humans hates everybody, and doesn't even seem like she likes hanging around other goats, is stuck back here. I don't know if she's got her head stuck or what she's done exactly. So I'm going to try to get back there without her kicking my butt like she likes to do and try to see what's wrong with her and get her freed up. I hope she's not hurt back there. All right, so I got my bolt cutters. I'm headed back to Precious to try to get her cut out of this fence. 
This just baffles me. Her horns are way too big to even fit through there, so I don't know how she did this. But, all I know is like I said earlier, she hates people. So I'm going to try to come up here, set up my camera, get on the other side of the fence, and then I will try to cut her free and hope that she pretty much pulls herself out once I, once I cut some of this fence. Hi precious. Hi girl. Hey, you're going to stay calm? You're not going to run off like you did last time? That was completely successful. Wow. That stinking goat has been nothing but trouble. So yeah, that is the same goat that made the great escape earlier this year and ended up about a mile back through these woods and across some cornfields and ended up in our local Walmart parking lot <laughs> and near our county airport. So we were very fortunate that they had a border collie near the county airport that rounded her up and pinned her up on a, a porch. We were able to get up there and I grabbed a hold of her by the horns. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post a link above now and uh, you can watch her toss me around like she did, which is why I was a kind of a, kind of afraid to get in there and have to wrestle her head out of there so I just cut the fence. So apparently using this cattle panel back here behind me that you see is just an absolute bad idea for horned goats. Really Daisy? I'm trying to talk and you're peeing right beside me. And my plan was, let me set these down, my plan was that all this back behind me I was going to go ahead and fence off with this same cattle panel. But with the terrain and the ups and downs and everything else, I just don't know how to get the fence tight if I use a standard 4x4 goat fencing, which is what I would like to do. I just don't know how to tension it all. So if you know that, please leave me a comment and tell me, because clearly this isn't going to work, what to do to be able to run through hills and hollers and this kind of terrain of up and down trees everywhere. I really can't run a tractor through most of it. So what is the proper way to fence that? What is a better way than this? Maybe running cattle panel, putting an electric line on the inside of it. Maybe that would do it. I do have power out here. I could do that, I guess. So let me know what you think, how to do this. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and be nice. And please share this content with other folks that enjoy it. Thank you.